doesn't like it if you have one of their older graphics cards. You bought a 6950 XT, you big old dummy. Also, Intel has like a mystery GPU that's out in the wild and miners are getting tricky trying to sell you GPUs in new ways that you wouldn't suspect. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your bright host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I could find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And today's top story is yet again, another discussion of a few things that AMD isn't quite working right. And I understand, I've read the comments of people being like, bro, like the last 35 videos have just been like negative AMD videos. And number one, that's not true. I really have tried to go elsewhere, but like the top stories have been AMD making some really strange and awkward decisions with regards to what they're presenting the customer with. And this is no different because AMD released a brand new driver yesterday, which one would not necessarily think would make news because it was just, you know, a little update for a few fixes and the a day zero patch for for spoken, which nobody's going to be playing anyways. But the tricky part is uh, it is the last driver in a long line of drivers uh, that doesn't have any support for the RX 6000 series. It's been 48 days since AMD has released a driver for anything besides the 7900 XT and 7900 XTX, which is kind of concerning if you're somebody who purchased a 6950 XT, which only launched seven months ago. It's not like you're actually holding on to an ancient relic of a Polaris GPU, which Man, the day AMD pulls driver support for the RX 480 and 580 is gonna be wild. Because anyways, we're not talking about that right now because we're talking about how AMD isn't crafting drivers properly. So AMD did promise that there would be day zero support and optimization for Forspoken. But again, that's only if you're on the brand new GPUs, which just feels really backwards from AMD and not quite delivering on that promise because it's only in one driver for two graphic cards, half of which are actually not working properly because they have heating issues. I say half, I just refer to the XTX versus the XT. It's much smaller than that. But regardless, AMD is just unfortunately continuing the narrative that they are not good at software development. They are just putting themselves in a place where it is so easy to say AMD driver bad because they're just not even delivering drivers anymore to people who have been long-standing customers. People who put, position themselves in a place to be like, you know what, I'm gonna trust you with our DNA too. AMD is not even releasing drivers for them anymore regardless of what new games come out. It's a very, very difficult and frustrating place to be in, especially if you're on an older GPU set, especially if you're not in a place where you can afford the new GPUs and Realize that AMD is putting you in a position where you're not necessarily going to get the latest features and updates as soon as they're available for everybody else. And then when you combine that with the fact that they're having issues with like publishing information on their website that's not supposed to be published, and I know this is not one for one, right? But that just feels somewhat up the same alley of like AMD is disjointed, dis discollected, they're, they're scrambling, not really able to execute on a unified vision and communication strategy of what exactly supposed to be going on. We saw it with the announcement of the X3D chips. We saw it with the XTX overheating debacle and people responding to that on a PC World interview instead of addressing customers directly. And now we're seeing it with regards to their drivers. There's just no communication. There's no apparent reason for why these things happen. And it just just feeds into this narrative that AMD is not put together well. And I I am upset about this. I really, like, I really don't want this to be the case. They should be releasing drivers for RX 6000, or they at very least need to not make promises of having day zero drivers for video games and then exclude what is likely gonna be the vast majority of their customer base. It's just not right. Communicate, AMD, if there's a functional reason why you can't deliver RX 6000 drivers, and it's been over a month and a half, tell us. Are RX 6000 owners also gonna not expect a day zero patch for Hogwarts Legacy? Are they supposed to not expect a day zero patch for other PC games that are coming out, like the Dead Space remake? What are we supposed to expect at this point, AMD? Let us know. You're the only ones who can, and it's unfortunate that we even have to talk about this. But you know what's very fortunate? Silverstone, today's video sponsor, because I 
have worked with them for a very long time. They were included in the first video on this channel and they've got some great products for you to check out. So they have their Extreme 850R SFX L power supply, which is for small form factors. Then they've also got their Gila 1300R platinum power supplies, which is gonna power your beefiest systems. And the last time I talked about these, I made a mistake. I actually said that these are 80 plus certified, which is not even true because they are not 80 plus certified. They're way better than that. They've got the Cybernetics Platinum certification, which if you look at Cybernetics, they are actually a better certification than 80 plus because they not only test efficiency on different loads, but they also measure noise levels at those different loads, which give you a better and fuller accounting of how a power supply is gonna perform. So both of these power supplies having the Cybernetics Platinum certification is actually way better than I initially thought because it, it also talks about how they're gonna perform under load, the noise level that you're gonna expect, and also the premium components that you're gonna get with the all Japanese electrolytic capacitors. The 850R is gonna be perfect for any high-end mini ITX PC you're building. The 1300R Platinum is gonna be great for whatever 4090 monstrosity you have planned. And then if you even wanna build a mini ITX PC, you can consider the Milo 12, which is their ITX chassis, which is a favorite of mine because it's the descendant of the RVZ01 Raven case that was again in the first video ever on this channel. So it's compatible with Founders Edition's versions of the 4090 and the 4080 can fit a three slot graphics card up to 345 millimeters of length, can fit an ATX PSU in case you want that. And it's got a modular design with a whole bunch of different options. You can check out these products at the link of the video description. Big thanks to Silverstone for sponsoring today's video. Get them powering up your PC and looking good as the case that you're building it. And you know who else looks good? Reese. Onion was great yesterday, but I need some Reese back in my life. Hello, Ari. It's me, Agrid. I'm here to tell you that Hogwarts Legacy is on sale or at Green Man Gaming. You can pre-order the Standard Edition for 51 Muggle Dollars. And the Deluxe Edition is 16% off at 58.79. That's a bargain, I reckon. I also found this Muggle Junk on Special. Here's a Ryzen 5 5600G for $139, and a Ryzen 7 5700G for $178. Looks like two blooming good deals if you like that sort of thing. That's all I got. Take care, Harry. Thanks, Reese, I think. I don't know if it was Reese or Onion again. This is a daily stress that I have to imagine when we do hot news, what's gonna happen? And I also have to wonder, what graphics card is this? Because there's a mystery Intel GPU floating out there in the different benchmarks. It's got 16 Z cores, which likely means it's an ARC A550. So it's gonna be like a really mid tier one, 60 watt TGP is what the mobile version has. It's not gonna be anything super new. It's not gonna be anything that's like gonna revolutionize the industry. It's just like a, it's another one. There's, a, there's another Intel GPU coming and there's another wave of you getting deceived by crypto miners. Okay, we got we had that whole thing where the GPU dies were cracking because of high humidity. A lot of people speculating that it was because crypto miners power washed their GPUs and it was killing these AMD graphics cards. But now they're gonna try to deceive you by making you think that they're brand new graphics cards by doing a few things like painting the VRAM chips on the actual graphics card. So this is being found out by a YouTube channel, which we'll link in the video description in case you wanna check them out. But in the discussion, they go over opening up graphics cards to see exactly what's going on under the hood. And what they're finding is that there's tampering with different labels and stickers on it, where they're painting over the DRAM modules to make it look like they're not as worn as they have been from use where there's typically signs of yellowing or a different residue left behind by thermal pads. And so it's creating this situation where, oh man, your miners are going out for blood to, to change things. But then there's even more coming out from different YouTube channels like this one from Tech Lab, where they find that the brand AFOX may be potentially rebranding mining GPUs and then selling them as brand new. And the way that they're getting away with it is by tampering with the GPU die and painting it and making it look like it's actually brand new. And so if you see an AFOX GPU out there, you might want to reconsider potentially buying it based on this source, at least because it looks like they are physically 
quickly tampering with these things and then just claiming that they are new graphics cards. I've actually had a few of these companies reach out to me. AFOX did reach out to us to do a sponsorship, but when I looked into it, I never felt comfortable promoting them. Then there's another one that's been in our emails lately where again, it looks like I don't know how they're getting their hands on their GPUs. They're trying to like really promote it and then it just feels wrong. And I wonder if it's the same situation that's going on behind the scenes where they're getting mining cards on the cheap saying that they'll cover them with warranty and then selling them as brand new. It's a it's a really concerning situation to be in. Buy safely out there, my friends. Buy from only people you can trust or win PCs from people you can trust because we're still giving away that 13 600 K RTX 4080 PC with the canvas 27 F monitor over on Twitch in case you want to check that out. Come join us on Twitch. I'll see you there. I'll be back to close out your week tomorrow with the hottest tech news. See you then.